All right, so some midday fly fishing today. And uh, there was a great caddis hatch last night. Nobody was out fishing. I'm just out uh, trying to soak my sore leg in some ice cold water. Hoping that I can alleviate some of my stiffness. But the water is a nice, cool 59 degrees. I'm wading wet. Just had a fish rise out here in front of me. So there are some spent mayflies floating downstream. It's a great caddis hatch last night. I mean, it was. This air was full of bugs. But in this stretch, I could have very easily seen a bluegill come up. In this slow, steady, deeper water. We'll see. Just gonna work my way upstream. There we go. There's the first one. Oh, and he's off. All right. Huh. Made a mess of me. Thank you very much. All right. Well. Okay, we know where the fish are. Uh, it's no bluegill. That was a trout. Alright, come on. Get me back in the game here. Oh, where there's one, there's more. Looks like he was sitting pretty close to the bottom. I doubt I'll get him again. But you never can tell, you know? Oh, son of a gun, look at that. All right, I don't know if it's the same one, but that's a fish. Yeah, a little guy. Very energetic. They're very energetic when the water's nice and chilly. I made you. Yeah, he's only 11. Probably just threw him in here the other day. Oops, there he goes. Alright, that's one. See if there's more. Come on, like that. That's what we want. That's what we want. Yep, nice 60 degree water. A nice confident take when I don't miss it.
Lots of water to move around in. So I just always feel obligated to mention that I'm fishing this $36 Max Catch Extreme um, that I got on eBay. And I really love cheaper gear for a couple reasons. A, I can buy it. B, if I break it, it's not a heartache. In fact, my friend uh, whom I refer to as the Monsignor, that's 12, he broke his uh, beautiful four-piece sage a little bit ago. There we go. Go on. There you go. And, um, and tragically, it was a gift, and did it. But uh, you know, replacing a four hundred and fifty dollar fly rod is a bit of a hassle. So for thirty six bucks, I can you know I can break rods all day. Um, because it happens. I mean, all of us break rods. I mean, it's just a matter of time. I haven't met a guy yet who hasn't broken a rod. I'm sure they exist, okay? You be the guy who says, I never broke a rod. Oop, there goes another one. But, you know, we break rods. I mean, they're very skinny sticks. There we go. Boy, fish are really waking up. This is midday fishing. You know, and I was so happy he got a max catch because having gotten one myself, I was telling him about it. I said, you know, I said, give it a try. What do you got to lose? If you don't like fishing it, throw it in the corner, you know. Or I'll buy it off you because I like them. So, he got one. And, uh, come here. Come here, you little pain in the butt. So, you know, good for him. He got himself one. Because I was about ready to get him one. He beat me to it. Yeah, not quite 12. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Trout. I mean, and look how that lays out a line. It's, I mean, what more could you ask for? It lays out a line really nice. You know? Handles the fish okay. I got a 17-incher on this thing last Saturday, four days ago. And I got to say, I was at first I thought I foul-hooked a 14-incher uh, a because it was just working me. Um, went into my drag a couple of times because I was working off the reel at one point because he was just strong. And... Uh, You know, it handled it really well. I mean, damn mergansers. Come on. Get out of here. Stop looking for fish. I'll probably put another protected fish eater. I'll tell you, here's the best thing about wet waiting. I'm like just into my zipper line. We all know that uncomfortable feeling when we're in our waders and the water's cold. 
and you got all coffeeed up before you got in the water. You get to a nice run that you want to fish, and suddenly the urge falls upon you, you got a lake. And you're like, crap. Well, that's what wet waiting is all about. Just go ahead and go right in your pants. And fish on, brother. Come on. I know you're sitting right over there. I really wish I had the video running for that. That was a real splashy take. And he took the dry. So that's the other nice thing about fishing a dry dropper. Is you never can tell what they're going to decide they want. Sometimes they'll take the dry. And even if there's not much going on on top, they'll see a nice fat dry sitting up there and go, hmm, screw it, I'll take it. So there he is, on the dry fly. These are all, these are all very fresh fish. Yeah, he's just 11. Probably another one just got put in this week. There you go. In you go. I got a waterlogged fly to dry out. A waterlogged slimy fly. We'll just run that through the air real good. And there she is. Okay. Now, that one. All right, there's one. Where's he going? He's lumbering like real slow. Oh, I got that leaf off my. Got leaf off my line. Where are you going? Come on. Now he's getting a little more active. There he is. Another one. It's about the same size. They're all like 11. They're all like 11 today. We had some decent rain. Whoop, and he's off. Okay. So we had some decent rain last week, and uh, a little over a week ago. And they don't actually stock right here. So this is a place up like that one. This is a place the fish move to. Because rainbows are movers. I haven't picked up any holdovers yet. So I don't know if they've. Right, so I got one on after I got my fly redoped. This guy was all aerial display. I don't know. Oh, there he goes. See? <laughs> this guy just this guy just loves to fly. This guy's a flyer. Whee! There are those that just love to fly. Alright, let's get you in. Enough fun for me right now. <laughs> You done? You, you done? Yeah, another. Stop. Just stop. Go away. Okay. Gotcha. Well, here we go again. Let's see if this one dances. This one's got a little... Come here. That one's... That one's 12. How'd you get yourself in there? How'd you get yourself into that predicament? 
Ouch, that must have hurt. Oh, there you go. Get in there. Okay, that was, I think, I think that was 12. Oop. Oh. I think that might have been on a rock. Okay, so full disclosure, it's the next day. Um, I found out the hard way that I greatly exceeded my video camera's battery life. Um, so the last couple clips that seemed kind of choppy were choppy because this set of glasses... Um, we'll go ahead and start recording even if the battery's low and it'll just quit. Um, whereas my previous set, when it had a low battery, would simply not engage. So, I said, well, it's a little cooler today. Um, But the river temperature is about the same. There are caddises all over the place. Um, basically dropping eggs in the water. Uh, so, water's still right at 60 degrees. And I'm just going to go through this stretch again. I had a phenomenal day through here yesterday. Um, and I really wish I could have gotten the tail end of my day on video. So I'm just going to, I'm just, I'm back and I'm going to do it again because, uh, because I had a little trouble tuning into them this morning. And actually I can see the water is just starting to warm and uh, they're getting a little more active. This one's nice. Ooh. Yes, he is. It's a nice fish. You know, and if he comes off on me, I'm alright with that. But I'm not interested in getting his head up. So I don't know if he's just big. It's not that big, but, but he's nice. He's a nicer fish. He's pretty. Pretty fishy. Pretty fishy. Oh, that's a pretty fishy. That's a pretty fishy. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oop, get back up there. Come on. I know. I'm trying to... Try not to hard handle you here. Uh, nice in the upper lip. And this one, a tad over 13. That's pretty pretty. There you go. That was nice. Okay, so I can actually feel the water warming on my legs. Which is good. I was just getting ready to change flies because I thought uh, I might have to go smaller, but apparently I don't. Alright. There he goes. Gotcha. Gotcha, buddy. Oh, you're giving up pretty easy. Are you conning are you conning me? Are you conning me? Come here. Whoop.
Yeah, that one's back to 11. There you go. Whoop! Out of here. Oh. And because I'm waiting wet, I think I'll take a leak. Ah, oh, that warm sensation. Ah. Priceless. I don't know about you, I hate having to get out of the creek, take off the vest, yank the waders down, try not to piss on myself. Sink down, sinkity sinkity sink 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 sink. We've got some little mayflies coming off. I may still have to go down to a 16 pheasant tail. That 14 may just be bigger than what they want. Like that one. There he is. Knew he was there. I knew he was there. I'll take a little break after after this guy. Let everybody warm up a little more. I've got to start thinking about maximizing my. Video glasses, battery life. Come here. Come here. A little 11, right? Just barely 11. Here you go, buddy. Right there, right there. Come on, take it down. Take it down. Like, oh, he did. And he spit it. As quick as he took it, he spit it. Try again. There's another one. So they're like laying right there, but you know, they're getting educated. They are getting educated, these fish. There he is. And I'll be more than happy to educate them to a better way of surviving so that they grow because I can tell you in this spot that they're in. If they can manage to not get caught, they'll eat happily and healthily and they'll get big. Boy, that's a little, that's a tiny little guy. A little, little bit of lip damage there. All right, thank you. Yep, and the feeding just becomes progressively faster as the water gets warmed by the sun. Fish out a little closer to the new sun line.
Up oh, there he is. Ooh, something got you, huh? I didn't get you yesterday, or at least... It... Ooh, wow, something really... Something really slammed you. What got a hold of you? Blame me for being upset, but look at look at that damage. Some got a hold of you. Ooh, poor thing. Poor thing. Go on. Go on. There you go. Bye bye. Something really got a hold of that fish, huh? Okay, so it's uh, day three, freshly charged camera. I've moved up, and there are <laughs> trout very busily feeding. I mean, look at them. I mean, they're just all over the place here. And, uh, man, he's going to town up there. Look at him. It's just nuts. So what I've got here in this bend is I've got a deep, deep run, and uh, I'm sitting about waist deep right now. There's a big boulder there. There's a big submerged boulder there. I've got three cuts. And it keeps this whole thing nicely cleaned out. And again, upstream is nothing but shallow riff. Downstream is all shallow riff. And uh, here sits this spot with not a stocking sign to be found. Because this is where they move to. And every river has one of these places. Or more. The trick is finding it. And uh, the only way to do that is a good old-fashioned way. you got to go find them. So, um, I'm going to start fishing. All right. Oh, my God, where do I start? Where do I even start, right? I mean, look at them. Look at them. Look at them up there. I mean, it's just stupid. And they're clearly going for stuff on the, close to the surface. So I don't know if this pheasant tail is even... Oop, and there's one on the dry. Took the 12 caddis without hesitation. Went right for it. Uh, went right for it. Not a lick of hesitation. <laughs> that didn't take long. Uh, I might wind up just fishing dry. Forget the nymph. Ooh, that's a nice fish. And he's angry. That's a very nice fish. Come here. That one's a tad over 13. Whoop. Back in you go. Thank you. Just gotta remember I got the trailer hook. Wow. Let's 
try the middle cut. See what happens there. Float it right down to him. Fly sitting on the water. I might have to throw a little caddis emerger on. Okay, so I've been trying to figure this out because they are just feeding crazily on uh, <coughs> on emergers and dries here, and I couldn't quite figure out what because I'm looking for bugs and I'm not seeing them. And then I've got this guy on here now, who is just a little powerhouse, and he came up and took it like a champ and. Uh, is not giving up any time soon. Come here, you. It's a beautiful fish. Oh, come here. Come here. Wow. That's the nicest one I've caught in three days. That one's not quite 14. Not quite 14. And looking really nice. Come here. Let's get you in the water for a second. Let's keep you wet for a second. Come here. Come here. Man, oh man. That's a solid hooking, I have to say. There we go. That's a sweetie. There you go. Very nice. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Wow. Oh, that fly is going to dry out anytime soon. But. Ah, that was a nice fish. So let's see if that does the trick. I mean, it did for that one, but I don't know about any other ones, but let's try. I mean, if you can fool one, you can fool more, right? Really hard to see a tiny little fly like that, i got to tell you that. Watch that be the only one I catch on that fly. And I go back to searching. Oop, nope. I take it back. Ah, got him. Coming right at me. Up. Oh. So we've gone two days. Two days dropping nymphs, and now we're into dries. And this is fun. This is the fun. Come on. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and I lost him. And that's okay. I'm totally okay with that. That was a good fight. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Next. Let's see if we can... Pick one up here right in front of us. There it is. There it is.
Now that's actually a little... I'm fishing a small, like a 14, maybe even a 16 Gordon Quill. I just... It's just a brown... It just matches the bugs. Kinda ish. Sorta. Of, like that one. Ah! Whoop! Easy. And he's foul hooked, or sorta. Nope. Oh, man. <laughs> Loving it. Come on. So I'm down to a two pound tip, but also, so. Oh, this is just lovely. That's another nice fish. That's another nice fish. Yes, it is. Shh, 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 shh. Probably 13. I'm going to say. That's my guessing. 13 exactly. Look at that. Very good. There you go. Back in the water. Beautiful. I'm liking it. Hmm. Crimp that barb down just a little more. It'll make it a lot easier for me to get them out. Okay. And carrying on. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's definitely a lot longer than the ones I usually do, but this stretch is really nice and big, and I mean, you just catch fish all through it. So it takes a while to go through, and you're catching fish the whole time. Um, so <clears throat> you can find me. Uh, you can find my YouTube channel. It's under my name. There's other fishing videos. I hope this has been helpful or at least just enjoyable. Um, and uh, get out and fish, you know. If you're new to fly fishing or new to New Jersey fly fishing, uh, there's no end of fun here. So, um, you know, have a great day. All right. Tight lines, everyone.